Hello everybody, it's Aaron D123 and today we're getting back into some more South Park. So, uh, the reason I'm not starting off where I was over by the East Store place is because I noticed that uh, there's some missions we can actually turn in real quick just around here, or just accomplish in general. So, let's go ahead and go in here and find Jesus one more time. <laughs> uh, you can hear him laughing and everything, just... Like, you have to, you can't see him right here as it is, but you have to change all this up. Turn off the lights. It's definitely not your lights on. There it is. And... Where is he? Oh, what? Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You found me! <laughs> Next time Ooh. finding me won't be so easy. All right, so we found the Jesus. Truth, we must recruit so the uh, let's go ahead and turn to Priest Maxi because uh, if we do it again, oh, Die, I'm actually almost close to leveling up. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just making sure. I oh, oh no! Why? I had like all of them. You're dead. Last time they didn't. Oh well. Uh. Hey, I'm lucky. <laughs> Why are you jerk certain butters? Okay. Let's give butters a heat. Let's go ahead and mug. This guy. Now, nah, yeah, I'll definitely leave him out of the battle for a good bit. I'll be pistol butters. Hammer of justice. By the hammer of butters. Ah! Yeah. I just now you can't it use this gay little repostum thing. That was close. Yeah. You ain't getting nothing. Alright. So we don't really have to help others right now. Let's go ahead and use our other ability back Man, there. Man, I could be watching TV right now. Ah, motherfucker! Yes. Sweet. Okay. Butters can finish you off. Yeah, we're going to get Butters. I don't want Butters dying. I need to worry about using the uh, cheesy poofs to heal my guys because uh, yeah, you're going to come across a lot of them anyways. The heavy is good against two handers, which is uh, it just goes through their armor better. And uh, the bleed is also really good on them. Shoots these arrows. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, so we took them out. Little butters. Alright, uh. good, 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 good. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead this way. We're gonna head to Creature. Yep. Creature Maxi, whatever his name is. We've been getting reports of a bunny. Mr. Maxi, we have what you want. Do not despair, for many find Jesus only to lose him later. But the soul that does not abandon its search will surely be rewarded. So pretty much he's telling us to go find Remember Jesus that. again. So what I did before was to get him to uh or was to find him was to find him when he was hiding the second time. So doing this, you'll actually become a summon, and you can summon them once a day. So it's good to get as many as you can on the first day, so you know, you can have them later on. Or you can use them sooner, and have them later on. <laughs> uh, well done, my son! I hope you didn't peek. Remember, I will <laughs> always be at the side of those who have found me. You can call me once per day with this. But I can't help against bosses. They're scary. Come find All me right, again so we for found another. Jesus. 
Sorry, I can only help you once per day. It's not like I can be. Yeah, everywhere you have to make once. sure you uh. Yeah, you have to make sure that you talk to him and get the rose boost. Like, uh, make sure you talk to the people that you, uh, do that for, because they won't give you the item until you talk to them. Or at least Why can't you just leave us alone? For, uh, I think Jesus and Mr. Kid. So. That sucks. Yeah, alright, I know what I'm gonna do. Man, I could be watching TV right guy. now. Max Dad, the uh, archer, which means Butters is gonna bring down the hammer of justice up on this guy's face. By the hammer of yeah, Butters! He's done for. Yeah, 22 health already. That was the most perfect Butters throw I've ever seen. Like, how much? 90? No, 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 no. I don't think that's the right thing. Could be wrong, I don't know. Um. Yeah, here comes the backstab. Open Stop dicking around! Yeah, he's almost it too. That didn't okay, count. Butters. Just take these fools out. Oh, oh no. no. Ha! Ah. He's dead next round. Or his next round. Yeah, you're a dumb fool, man. But it's gonna end it for you right now. Dead. You're about to bleed out. Oh no, you made butter bleed. You're straight tripping, son. Bleed the other man's blood. Uh, uh, for you. My king over is like 100 something overall. Here it is. Alright, so we got him as a summon, which means we gotta go this way now. And over here, we got to put the, uh... Al Gore's freaking little transmitter thing. We gotta put it on the fire danger sign. I, I learned what, what it was. It's hilarious. I didn't know that was fire danger. Okay. So, let's go down here. We're gonna go to the school's, uh fast travel area. And we're going ahead and shoot across over here. And we're going to go see the uh, Star Trek kid. And he is going to give us, um, what else he give us? I can't remember. Uh, let's go ahead and check. Oh, fucking owls. Is this the house? It looks like it will be. Yeah, there's the house. <laughs> Even in the family portrait. He's freaking like that. Well done! The galaxy is in your debt. Let it be known that I have been and will always be your friend on Facebook. Alright, so this will slow. Which we don't really need. But it's good if you you know that's how you want to roll with it. But him as a friend is mainly what you're looking for. Because the friends are good to uh, give you perks. And actually, we need to do ours right now. We have three new friends. Et cetera, et cetera. Alright, wrong one. Alright, so we have two perks. We only need three more friends to get another one. But, uh, Bloodlust, we're gonna get that. And let's see. Baller. Those are what's going to help us in the beginning. Those are going to be okay for us to help, you know, get through the beginning of the game. Actually, for a good bit. Because anything that can bleed, yeah, definitely. That's good. You no, know we'll do that. Because we are using Mug a lot, so. Might as well, you know? Alright, so we did that. I think that's about it for uh, the quests over here. 
And we're going to return to... Where is it? Right. Eh. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just start right here. We're going to run across, and we're going to head over to Tokens, finally. And we're going to start the mission there. But actually, you know what? I might not get the token. I don't know. Guess we'll see. I think we might have time for token. Yeah. Should be okay. What's up, Al Gore? I think we can talk to you. You've placed the man sensor and the bear sensor. Once the pig sensor is in place, we can triangulate his exact position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You have to prove you're a mature, you look like movie, and you can't because you're not But we're going to head down yeah. here. And you can only walk along the freaking pathway. It sucks. Get this. Now, let's go ahead and get mace. If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. <laughs> it's so lame. I warn you, sir, I have five. Pepper spray me back to the Stone Age? Jerk. Alright, you did that. So we initiated the quest, and we gotta protect ourselves from pepper spray. And we can actually read what they're saying. <laughs> someone, dude, someone just posted a video you can pepper spray. Hold on, I gotta watch that again. I see better when you know it's coming. Jimbo's guns carries a selection of gas masks that render pepper spray totally useless as defense, self defense. Come visit. And yeah. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's go ahead and okay, go see Jimbo. Because we don't need to, uh. We're going to need that later, but. We don't need the, that just yet. Oh, are you all by yourself? Oh, it's on. No, you're not. <laughs> ah, motherfucker! <laughs> all right. So we got the got the drop on them. I hope we don't get so, in trouble for this. Which means we're gonna mug. I'm going to backstab first, actually. I should start off with backstab some more. I totally goofed on that. Sorry, guys. Because I, the reason I wanted to start with backstabs is because... If you do, at least on a stun target, you'll give them... You'll, they'll have to take bleed their first turn. So... Doing that... And then doing mug on someone that just wakes up from it, or another dude. It's pretty good, I guess, you know? Just because it keeps someone out of the game longer. Make sure you collect some cash from these, by the way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and initiate, but we're not going to do it just yet. Initiate us going to uh, take out the Mongolians. Mongolian. Goddamn Mongolian. Let's go talk to him. Alright, welcome to Shitty Walk. Take all the prayers. Only thing we're serving today is a Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef, so good. Oh, I just love it. Oh, hello, Mongolian. Shh. Mongolians are watching. They conquered me last week. Act natural. Oh, yeah, Mongolian beef. Mmm, so tasty, right? Wow. It's not tasty at all. It's gross. Don't eat it. You eat a Mongolian beef, you shit your pants for five days. All right, Mongolian. Please, you gotta help me out. The Mongolians all live like rats in the tower of a piece next door. I'll keep the adults occupied here. You go top a tower and beat up all their kids. Beat up all the Mongolian kids. The Mongolian think this neighborhood not a safe place. They move away. Go, go, beat up the little Mongolian kids. Oh. Hello, Mongolian. Mongolian beef smell like a All right, that's asshole. hilarious. <laughs> Gonna be a fault the Mongolian children. <laughs> that's great. We might need some top eight. So I should get more used to use some of those items. Don't need that. And we're fine, actually. Welcome to Shiwa. Can I take all the please? I want to sell stuff. I want to let me sell stuff. It says buy sell. 
But there's pretty much... I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here. Just gonna uh, take a roll to this. Nope. Just these pots, and these pots don't give you diddly squat. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Jimbo's Dungeon. Oh! That kid's by himself. I think I'm gonna get messed up. Well, hello there, Jimbo and Ned. Well, Ow. what brings you here today? Business or pleasure? Howdy there. Haven't seen you before. You must be the new kid that moved to town. And you're into hunting, huh? Well, my boy, you've come to the right place. South Park is chock full of things to shoot that would delight any taxidermist, survivalist, or weekend animal death enthusiast. Ain't much I can sell to a miner, thanks to the stupid Democrat, but, but if you could prove yourself a real hunter, I might be able to get you some better stuff. You should buy a copy of The Hunter's Guide to South Park Wildlife, th this book thingy here. Alright, so we can pretty much get that, and that will initiate for us to get a, do a quest that will... Oh... Uh, us do like hunt pretty much all these crazy things throughout South Park. Now he does give you some pretty good stuff. Like let it be known, he gives you some really good stuff. It's just uh nothing I can use right now. That's pretty good for level eight. Plus a short sword. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Equipment. The guy gets the gas mask. Equipment patches, and shield. No. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that, initiate that quest. Let's go ahead and sell all of our junk. Now, let's see how much we make from this. Alright, so if you've been keeping it long, you should have around that much money from where we were a minute ago. So that, you're making pretty good money from uh, just selling junk. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we can sell? Oh, yes, I'm level 3, that means... If you kill anything in that guide, you come back and see old Jibbo and Ned. The best part of hunting is bragging about it to other hunters. All right, sweet. So now that I'm actually level three, I can uh, use the other patches. So let's go ahead and use those other patches. You are going to be fire, actually. Yeah, right. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. We're not going to look like this for long because uh, as you level up. Uh, I shouldn't. I should. Okay. Alright. The reason you want to fight is because uh, the quicker you go up those levels, the, you know, the better items you can use and the better off you'll be later in the I'm game. But I like how everything well, in the game is so relevant to your level. So, it doesn't stay easy the entire time. So, it's going to call backstab. Yeah, he's, yeah, we already won. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. But uh, yeah, make sure you break these and get some money. It could give you pretty good, pretty good amount of change. I'll tell you that. Well, thank you. I don't really ever get anything from the newspaper stand things, so I don't really ever hit them. Jesus Christ! But uh, who knows? You might get lucky and get something. Oh, like that. <laughs> no, no, no more money. All right. So with this, we'll be able to counteract the pepper spray, and oh, more money! Wow, that's first. Sir, I you ready for this bitch? What the fuck? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh no! <laughs> it's a gas mask. Well, here we go again. All right, so for this, we're gonna start off. Oh, what? No, 
I was about to say, like, what, what does that Sir, I've taken a three hour combat out. workshop in the deadly arts. Oh! Yeah, go ahead and knock him out. Take his number two pencil. Butter. Just, what? There's nothing. I don't think there's ever anything. Okay. Hammer of butters! Yes! Now he can't use any abilities. It's his turn when he's done. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this. Now he's grossed out. Now, butter, you can just smash him with your hammers again. Hammer again. Now I'm gonna get him with my dagger. Yeah, oh, it's over. Move along. <laughs> If you guys don't recognize him, he's a security guard from, um, the episode where they're in the mall and it's, uh, the finger bang episode. <laughs> the hilarity. Oh, it's hilarious. This. Um. Ah, so we can come back here sometime for the end of the game. Good, 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 good. Bang. I like that. What you got up here, man? Fire's cat. Sweet. I might have to keep the entire Fryer's outfit. Depending on if it's uh, good or not. Game one PP when healed. Nah. Yeah, I like Steve Swift for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, that'll be good whenever we're level four, but we're not gonna really need it because we're getting that Mongolian one. Um, let's get this chip open one. Chip open Yeah. Can I help you? What's this? Oh, the elf stick the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? So we got Token as a friend, and we delivered it to Token finally. So that only leaves, uh, shit, what's his face? Um, definitely not Clyde. Uh, what's his face? Can't remember his name. Um, the other dude. I don't think we're his friend yet, but it's okay. So let's fast travel to here. So I think my uh, end the episode here. Um, you know what? Hang on. No, I'm not going to end the episode here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to base. And we're going to proceed kind of with the story so you guys can see what's going to happen. Because uh reason we got to do this is because we need the dragon's fart. Dragon's breath, whatever. Well, soldiers, reporting for duty, Grand Wizard. Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the- Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah, where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again! Oh my god. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the stick of truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man! Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble! Getting into trouble is a risk that douchebag is willing to take. You have to break out our thief, douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn Dragon Shout. So, we're about to learn our first magic attack. It's actually really easy if you uh, get the hang of it. Fight well, douchebag. But, it does... but to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fart. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever, fart on anyone's bows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. 
Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Hey. Then let it rumble inside you and dragon shout. I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout. Now you. Ready? Dragon shout. Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. Oh no, I have to hold. Don't be polite, what the hell? Let it rip. I'll show you one more I time. I got it, Bart. I got it. I got it. Let it rumble. Got it. Dragon shout. Go away. Now you. Ready? Dragon shout. Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. My god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last, in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Okay, just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. Douchebag, that was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. <laughs> Thank you, asshole. <laughs> okay, okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's boss. Okay, seriously. You have mastered dragon shafts. From now on, it will be easier for you. Oh, will right. assist you on your quest, douchebag. So, now go get Craig while I finally rest learned the dragon shout, which is pretty funny. Gotta find it. Yeah. Oh, it's so simple. It's yeah. up and down. Okay. So let's go and see what got Mac and Finn. You name it, so we'll sell it. Uh. All right. So we didn't really need to do anything with that. But now we got to uh, get what's his face out of you know out of tension. So let's go ahead, fast travel, and then I'll end the episode. And that's what we're gonna. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that next time. No, we gotta go to Tower of Peace. All right, let's get back to the Tower of Peace. Sorry, guys. Nope, Tower of Peace, and then we go get him out of the tension. Because we need the bow before we go in. This will make everything a lot easier, trust me. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna end the end, or we're gonna end, end the end, end the episode here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I'm, uh, kind of explaining this. Whoa, hey. You. Give me some money. You wanna give me some money? I, ho I hope I'm explaining the game well as a walkthrough. I hope I'm actually giving out some type of advice that, you know, people are taking well. And... Jimpo go moan! Poor Cory. <laughs> and... <laughs> I, I just hope you're enjoying it. Like, uh... Because this game is really fun. And just everything <laughs> is great. Like, it's... They put this game together really well, and I'm enjoying it as a walkthrough so I hope that I'm actually kind of helping you know change some people's minds about it if you think it's gonna be dumb you know I, I didn't think it was gonna be too great either but you know what it definitely surpassed what I was ex expecting by a long shot but I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys next time you guys take care until then later Let's go ahead and talk to Kenny's mom. What? Oh, this isn't for me. This is for the nice people who are renting the guest house out in the back. If you talk to her again, she'll say it pissed, like, pissed off, like she knows what they're doing. I told you to go see the nice people renting the room behind the garage. Yep. <laughs>